Welcome back to another edition of Baby Face Preview. My name is Alex. I'll be walking you guys and gals through this review for the next few minutes here today. I want to apologize in advance for not really uploading lately. i uh, just been doing a lot of bunch of other stuff. Haven't really had so much time in my life, unfortunately, to review awesome beer with you guys and gals. But nonetheless, we've saved an awesome beer for today to review. This is Three Way IPA by Fort George Brewing Company, Astoria, Oregon. This is a collaboration beer. It comes out every June since about 2013, I believe. Last year's was a killer collaboration between Great Notion, uh, Rubens Brews up here in Seattle along with Fort George. It was uh, by far my favorite three-way IPA since I've been drinking three-way and this year's is nothing short of an amazing brewer lineup. We've got Modern Times Brewing out of San Diego, California and also Holy Mountain Brewing. Uh, some of you folks who might not be so much so familiar with beers in the Northwest, Holy Mountain is on the top of the list there in terms of uh, breweries to visit and quality and artisan beer. They make some kick-ass beer, excuse my French, really, really good stuff uh, from Holy Mountain. So really excited to be here reviewing this beer with you guys and gals today. Uh, clocking in at 7.3% alcohol by volume. Don't have an IBU con uh, content for you, unfortunately. Excuse me there. But we go over to the accolades. Beer Advocate, not so much love for Freeway this year. 3.97 out of 5, putting in that very good category. Only about 5 ratings on there, so you know you get more of a bell curve once you get more people re uh, rating and reviewing. You have a negative review, kind of can botch that down, you know, any with Yelp or Google reviews. Uh, untapped folks over there, 4.28 out of 5 caps. Uh, really solid stuff there from about 2,000 or so ratings. Do not have a hot profile or a malt base for you on this bad boy. We'll pick it up as we go along, see what we're working with. Uh, canning date on the bottom here, 531.18. Today's date is the, oh, I believe it's the 12th of June. So super super fresh within two weeks old about $13.99 for a four pack my local bottle shop I uh, wasn't able to get it last week when it came out they got 64 case uh, two, 64 cases of this bad boy sold out in two days so that tells you about the demand for this beer I mean I called everywhere nobody had it stumbled into my local PCC Whole Foods kind of type market you know local farm fresh organic stuff they had it there I got two of them. Uh, I was doing backflips. I was so stoked to find it. So nonetheless, awesome beer from what we've heard, but we'll leave that up to ourselves. Really great artwork this year, again, from Fort George. Let's see what's going on in the three-way IPA. Wow, that's pouring like butter. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Opaqueness, just beautiful beautiful beer in the glass you know no clarity whatsoever a nice kind of muddled orange New England style traditional in that uh, complexion there beautiful finger and a fingers worth of head here tightly compact at the top getting soap sudsy towards the top excuse me from the bottom uh, swirl around see if we get any sort of glass lacing cling to the side of the walls here yeah just ever so slightly there. Yeah, looks looks pretty nice. Wow. Awesome. Let's get into a smell and aroma on this bad boy. Oh, wow. Big mango. Big, big mango up front. Then I get some of the other trop big tropical fruits this year. Yeah, I get um, pineapple. I get kind of this stone passion fruity element to it. A little bit of guava, papaya. Get some lemon in there as well, some citrus zest, a little grapefruit note. Get a little bit of like the weediness from the malt ever so slightly there. Get this juice, juicy yeast strain. I'm picking up almost like a, almost smells kind of like modern times yeast. Some resinous hop qualities to this. Wow. There's almost kind of like this vanilla, like yogurty vanilla thing. Not lactose, but there is like that you will find some yeast strains that that New England style beers possess. Yeah, that's really interesting. Wow. Anyway, without further ado, cheers, pro, or how you want to call it, Three Way IPA, Fort George, Modern Times Brewing, along with Holy Mountain out of Seattle, Washington. Let's dive in. Oh, wow.
Holy smokes. Got to put it down. Yeah, that's really good. Um, solid. Up front, okay. I kind of get like this light pale malt, weedy characteristic to the beer up front, kind of revealing itself. Um, almost kind of... God, I can't think of the the description. Um, there, there is this interesting malt, weedy, kind of flaked oats-like present up front, kind of pale, crackery almost. Then you get into the big hop shell. You get big mango. I think mango is what stands out to me here from the tropical fruit group. Mango, pineapple, papaya, a little bit of guava in there, lemon characteristic. You get like a red grapefruit, uh, citrus zest in there as well big time. Then in the back end, yeah, is where it kind of gets interesting. You get this almost like tart, tartness to the beer, um, almost drying out too quickly. It feels like really like it's resinous and then it's like super dry. Um, I don't want, chalky is not the right word. Um, it's more of like this sharp twang, like this yeastiness that just dries out the back of the beer. And that's where that vanilla quality is coming out again. It's like this interesting juicy yeast strain that they're using. Really like, it's a sharp drying characteristic on your palate. And then it's lingering like red grapefruit and, and mango as well is what it's coming back. Uh, as on the on the back end as I kind of burp it up but there's this really interesting like sharp yeastiness to it tastes like modern times yeast um, it could be totally wrong there that's what kind of what I was picking up um, nice creamy smooth quality to this beer getting into the mouthfeel um, really really drinkable you see I had a couple squigs there awesome stuff uh, no alcohol at all, 7.3%. That is totally hidden. Nice kind of prickly carbonation of this. Keep this one driving through the palate. Really makes it pretty drinkable. It's on the lighter side of the carbonation. It might be, um, it might be a little like muddled or kind of like idle for some folks. Um, but I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it for what it is. It's solid. Um, and it has that really interesting kind of like vanilla yogurt like quality, uh, from the, the yeast. I know they're not, I don't believe they're using like lactose or anything, um, but it, it does. It tastes like a beer actually. Shout out to you, Denver Dave. Uh, a beer from Magnify that I've, that I've had before um, it, back in New Jersey. So if that's, if anyone's had that and had this, let me know because uh, it does taste like something uh, from, from that brewery that I've had before. Other than that, really solid stuff. Gonna go with a 91, 92. 91, I mean, it's an A- minus beer, A beer, I think it's right there. We'll go 92 for, else, for you know, for what the heck. So with all that said and considered 91, 92 for me, that's not what matters. It matters what you guys and gals think, so you can let me know by leaving that all below in the comment section down below. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Why? Let me know. What beers are you guys drinking? What beers can I review next? Thank you so much to each and every one of you guys for helping me out, grow this thing, enjoy, you know, hope you guys enjoy watching my reviews as much as I enjoy making them. So until next time. Cheers, Prost. We'll see you all again on Bayface Brew, yo.